Compressed natural gas is a fuel that many fleets in the Jackson area use, as well as throughout much of Wyoming and the surrounding states. This video will highlight the station in Jackson at Lower Valley Energy and the station in Afton located off the main road. The goal of this video is to address any questions compressed natural gas users may have about fueling in the area. Compressed natural gas, also known as CNG, is produced by compressing natural gas to less than 1% of its volume at standard atmospheric pressure. To provide adequate driving range, CNG is stored onboard a vehicle in a compressed gaseous state at a pressure of up to 3,600 pounds per square inch. CNG is used in light, medium, and heavy-duty applications. A CNG-powered vehicle gets about the same fuel economy as a conventional gasoline vehicle on a gasoline gallon equivalent basis. One gasoline gallon equivalent equals about 5.66 pounds of CNG. Emissions-wise, CNG vehicles produce 20 to 30 percent less greenhouse gas emissions than gasoline or diesel-powered vehicles. And according to the Alternative Fuel Data Center, in 2021, CNG was $2.33 per gasoline gallon equivalent, and gasoline was $3.25 per gallon. Hi, my name is Phil Cameron and I'm with Energy Conservation Works and we're here at the Jackson Hole Compressed Natural Gas Fueling Station. The station is located at Lower Valley Energy on South Highway 89 and it provides 24-7 access to the public for CNG fueling. This station was made possible in partnership with Lower Valley Energy and the support of Yellowstone Teton Clean Cities. Energy Conservation Works worked with our Joint Powers partners at the town of Jackson and Teton County to pursue funding from the State of Wyoming's Business Council to make the station possible. A Business Council grant in combination with local restricted energy funding allowed us to build this station and offer CNG, a cleaner burning local fuel to all transportation users. Since the station was completed in the fall of 2017, we've seen increased use from fleets throughout the community. Now, Lower Valley's fleet with nine vehicles obviously anchors the use at the station, but we've seen other public partners like Teton Conservation District and Grand Teton National Park step in to benefit from this lower cost, cleaner fuel. In addition, private fleets, including High Country Linens and a number of contractors and electricians in the valley have jumped on the opportunity to fuel with CNG. So we can just talk a little bit about how we actually fuel at the station. As we mentioned before, this is a public station with 24-7 access. So any CNG vehicle can pull up here and use a major credit card. Today, I'm gonna to use one of our fleet cards available through Lower Valley Energy. So if you are a local fleet, you can have this card linked right to your Lower Valley Energy account and not deal uh, with using a credit card. So I'll, sh I'll walk you through how to do that right now. Over at the card reader, just gonna insert the card and follow the instructions. So we're gonna do a new sale. We're gonna fuel with pump number one. And we're ready to go. So with this fueling station, it's pretty straightforward. We're gonna line up both the arrows on the connection. Fit that onto the vehicle and twist it 90 degrees. Now it's ready to go and I'm just gonna flip the station on. You'll hear the dispenser kick on and it's gonna bring fuel on board the vehicle. When you're all finished fueling up, the dispenser's gonna tell you you're at full pressure. Switch it off. Disconnect. And you're ready to go. To locate a CNG station near you, you can use the Alternative Fuels Data Center station locator. Just put in your zip code and choose CNG as the fuel you are searching for. The station at Lower Valley Energy in Jackson, Wyoming is 63.4 miles away from the closest station in Afton, Wyoming, which is about a 1 hour, 10 minute drive.
I'm Marlo Sherbel. I'm one of the owners of the Star Valley Natural Gas Fueling Station in Afton, Wyoming. So when you're fueling a CNG vehicle, it's very simple. It's very similar to an unleaded or a diesel. Uh, you find the credit card machine and insert your credit card or fu fuel card and answer the questions. ask you a pump. In this case we're going to use pump number one which is a 3600 PSI versus pump two which happens to be only a 3000 PSI. So it's lower for some of the older tanks that are around. So once you run your card and it's approved, you grab the hose and nozzle, put it on your CNG, turn the pressure and then you just flip it just like you do it and unlet it and it starts filling and it takes uh, maybe a little longer than an unleaded tank to fill this is about a 20 gallon tank that I have in my truck and it's about half full probably won't take very long so we have people that are using this are usually coming from uh, the Wasatch Front to Yellowstone as well as we have a few local uh, Lower Valley Power and Light has some CNG trucks. We have about uh, eight trucks or vehicles in our fleet uh, at Surveyor Sherbel. Um, we established the station back in 2013. Uh, then unleaded became very cheap and so people kind of went back to unleaded. It looks like it's resurging with unleaded being five dollars a gallon and we're paying two so I'm happy every day that I'm driving down the street at three dollars less a gallon than anybody else. Um, it's here it's open 24-7 You can also use the alternative fuel station locator to view all nearby CNG stations by putting in your zip code and choosing CNG as the fuel you are looking for. As you can see, there are stations nearby in Jackson, Afton, Pinedale, Rock Springs, and Evanston, Wyoming, and in Logan, Perry, Kaysville, and Ogden, Utah. 